None of the survivors of Monday's shooting was shot. That does not mean, though, that no one who got out was uninjured. The mental trauma of what happened will linger, even for some who were not directly there at the grocery store. Our Steve Steger explores what we know about the invisible injuries that Coloradans will have for a lifetime. It's not something that just goes away or is okay because you physically um, survived a traumatic event. It is easy to find a sense of comfort hearing that while 10 lives were tragically lost, no one else was physically wounded in Monday shooting. It doesn't make this any easier though. We often refer to them as people with invisible wounds. Psychologist Dr. And Cheryl Ziegler says the trauma of being in the store, of hearing the gunshots, of witnessing the loss, all of that will be harmful to the survivor's mental health. There's also comes the point of where you have that um, survivor's grief and guilt. Um, why am I physically okay? And it's not just those who actually witnessed this. Ziegler says anyone in the proximity of the store that day might experience some trauma. There really were probably sort of countless victims that we will never fully know, but the, the impact is typically considered lifelong to some kind of event like this. And anyone impacted will need support in the long term. You want to check in with people immediately and you want to keep checking in on them because what happens is, unfortunately, life does go on and time moves on and people then stop asking for different reasons. What we tend to do is shy away from really difficult conversations. And what the research has shown over and over again is that People actually do better when you ask them about things that are hard. For next, I'm Steve Steger.